The big difference between the 1980s and now is this. In the 80s, Ashok Singhal and the VHP organized a national platform for a whole host of regional and, and sometimes sectional uh, religious leaders who had a, a basically a Brahminical appeal and an appeal from ancient uh, right. uh, old sort of seats. People like Ramdev are Teddy evangelists. They are first generation entrepreneurs in a sense. They are, fir they are first generation uh, religious gurus. They are not going to be happy with just being part of a platform. No, they want to be more than that. Ramdev's name recall, brand recall, and face recall are higher than the RSS today. You know, that, that's an interesting point, but I want to know from you, Bhupendra Chaube, did you get a sense in the last four days covering this story that the Congress was also trying to start, strike a deal with Ramdev and that that deal didn't work out, which is why they decided on this crackdown that it's all very well for the Congress today to call him a thug and other things, but the same thug was someone with whom the Congress wanted to strike a deal the for The kind of hours. language, the kind of words, flowing words which were being used, glowing words which were being used by Congress, senior Congress leaders on Wednesday when Baba Ramdev came to Delhi and the kind of words which are being used today, there is a world of difference. What that suggests Rajdeep is that the Congress was looking at Baba Ramdev as an individual who had taken a position which was different from the position which was taken by Anna Hazarian group. They thought that this would be their opportunity to split that group. There were controversies, there were differences which are coming between the Congress uh, and Anna Hazare group. However, that, that's the main point. I mean, the fact is that he was an RSS man all along. The no, no, Congress, but the Congress was, was looking. We know the Congress, the Congress, was Congress let's to be honest. Deal. The Congress looked to de <coughs> do a deal with Baba Ramdev. In a sense, someone mentioned this a few days ago. It's a bit like with Bindran Wale. In the 80s, you tried to strike a deal with Bindran Wale. The deal goes awfully wrong, and suddenly he becomes a terrorist. Today, the deal goes <laughs> awfully wrong, and Ramdev is a thug. If he was a thug, why do you? I come back to what we started off with. Why did you go to the, uh, to receive the thug at the airport? No. Why did you try to uh, take the thug to Claridge's hotel? Right. And, do a, uh, and, and do a deal no, with the I, You are right. You are right. There were far too many contradictions in their strategy, the way they, ha uh, they handled uh, 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 Baba Ram Dev. But you know, if you have noticed what Subodh Khan Sai said today, you know, he said that when the final draft was sent to Baba Ram Dev, and they got information that he read it and just he flung, it aside, flung it aside, you know. So that is where they realized that whatever they are conceding to him is not being acceptable to him and that so much ground will be conceded to him and yet he'll continue his omission, his past there. And that is where they chose to strike down and sort of disperse the assembly. But you see, what the point, the point Bundela Sahib has made is excellent. You see, Anna Hazare, you look at the idiom that he uses, it is totally civil. He does not do anything, any politics with the anti-corruption movement. Today, his entire press conference was very much within the limit of, limit, limits of civility. And Baba Ramdev has gone back to Haridwar and shown his true colors as a politician. So I think, I think that unfortunate, it's very unfortunate that this movement that should have belonged to the people today stands divided on political lines no, no, I, and I, that is okay, where no, I, the I, issue me, seems to be getting the you know, just a minute let's go to Agnivesh and Santosh Hegde they are ultimately people who are involved in a sense among civil society activists